apply those to other things, but they are usually, you, you'll have a little pamphlet in your, in your meter that comes out, it'll tell you. So then on 64 qualm, you want MER to be 28 to 31. I'm not sure that's exactly what it says, but they give you an excellent, a good, and an okay, and a fail. Sure. What do they say? They say on 64 qualm, 27 to 34 is good. So 28 to 34, I'll make it that. Okay, so that's good. The higher that number, the tighter that is. The tighter that is, the we all know the better that is. So, so there's your there's your example of MER. All right, PER. PER we already said was bit error rate, and that's when you're trying to bounce in this box, but you don't. You accidentally start bouncing kind of loose. We all know that feeling. And then all of a sudden you bounce in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble then. <laughs> all of a sudden, then all of a sudden you bounced in the wrong place, right? <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> no, that's an error, right? That's an error. Okay, that's an error. Sorry, that's not my bit ever rate That's an error. No one would do that on purpose, right? <laughs> no one would bounce in the wrong place on purpose. So so what's happened? Well, you've got you got some problems. Right? Clearly, we're not I'm not. <laughs> so, so when you bounce over here and you, you, you mess up and you have an error, that's called B E R, bit error rate. Okay, bit error rate, B E R. All right. So there's also a figure of merit for B E R, and B E R is what? Go ahead and tell me how you can see it. Uh, go down from 64 palm. Take your time. I'll keep talking. Just tell me what's going on. If you need if somebody else to read, I'll look at it. But, uh, but at any rate, so, so then let's digress for a second here. This is how you communicate in analog cable TV. You bounce left and right, and you send ones and zeros to TV understands. Here, this is qualm. This is digital, right? We have a lot of digital. You put in a lot of digital set top boxes, and you know that you're not just going to channel. You are going to channel 2, 3, 4. But you also know you got these digital channels there, 300, 400, whatever they may be. Well, guess what? The way that picture gets there is the same thing. One's and zero, right? And so if you don't bounce in the right box, you're not sending the right information, okay? So what's that mean? It means that there's more than the story than just signal level now, right? There's these other two things, MER and BER. And if my BER is horrible, I'm making lots of errors, I'm bouncing all kinds of in the wrong places, then, then you're going to have tiling or a bad picture or not get a picture at all. Probably tiling is what you're probably going to have with bit error rate. Okay, the bits are coming in, the bouncing in the wrong box, signal level's fine, what the heck's going on? My signal level's good. Well, now you know, right? There's two other things, MER and BER. I think one of those two things could be bad. What if it's one of those? How do I check that? What's that? How do you, how do you fix it? You get a new meter. Is that how you fix it? You're getting ready to get one, right? No, how do you fix <laughs> MER or BER? Yeah, do you go, is it time wiring fault or is it the wiring fault? What if it's normally the wiring, but it depends what you're saying. Could be a lot of different things, okay? Bittings? You, you don't know. Protect your face. This is not for me. What you do is this. What you do know is this. It's that you have a meter in your hand now that tells you more than signal level. It tells you MER and BER. Wow. wow. So, what can, so what can you do? You can go to the TV and you see tiling on the TV and you plug your meter in and you see BER and you go, yeah, that makes sense. That's to give us the reason. Well, then you can divide and conquer. Without knowing what the problem is, you can divide and conquer. Go to the ground block. Do I see BER? If I do, then I know if I did have a TV here and I did have a box here, and I hooked up to it, I would also see tiling because there's my BER. So apparently the problem is on further back. So you go to the tap, look up at the tap. If you still see the same MER and BER problems, turn it into a service call, it's time warner. If not, it's in your house somewhere, it's something. I don't know if it's a fitting, I don't know if it's a bad splitter, I don't know if you're shaving, I don't know how you're cutting fittings, I don't know what it is, but I do know it's in the house somewhere because it is not at the bowl and it is at the TV. Okay, so you can divide and conquer. Um, all right, let's break down BER for just one second here. You guys would like this. I'll see if I can. 
come up with a good analogy. In BER, we have, there's two ways to measure BER. There's what's called pre-BER, and there's what is called post-BER. I'm sure you guys will find an analogy for this. Okay? Pre-BER is every box and every mode, every box and every mode has what's called forward air correction in it. FEC is what it's called. Forward air correction. And it was made by two guys, a guy named Reed and a guy named Solomon. And what they did is they said, hey, I got an idea. We're going to come up with some rules. And as long as the box and the modem know those rules, they can fix some problems on their own. So for instance, if I always knew my best buddy uh, hated the Colts, and somebody called and said, I'm going to call you and then called me and said, hey, your buddy wants to go to the Colts game, I'd know better, right? Because I know this rule. I know he hates the Colts and he hates to go to the game. So I can apply these rules that I already know and take information that somebody's given me and make judgments on it because I've got the rules that I know. So every box and every motor has some rules in it. One rule, and I, this is not a real rule. I'm making this up for example. But one rule, let's say, is that in any bit stream, so here's our, our little four column, Zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. We bounce here, then here, then here, then here. We do some bouncing. And in the end, after we bounce a while, we have a bit stream that looks like this. Okay? And for we missed a bit. Actually, yeah, we missed a bit. So the bit stream came in, and something happened. There was ingress, or something happened in the system. We're getting errors for some reason. Bad connector, bad cable. We're getting errors. Well, this rule, forward air correction, this rule says that there's going to be no more than three zeros or three ones in a row. Never. You'll never see more than, I'm just going to, I'll just tell you that right now. John, I'm never going to send you three ones or three zeros, more than three ones or three zeros at any given time. So then I send you a bunch of information. And you see all that information come in, but you missed a piece of information right here. But I already told you this rule. So the box and the modem itself can apply the rule that it knows. And can it fill in this blank with that rule? Yeah. Yes. What goes there? A one. All right. Maybe a zero. You said it yeah. never be more than three in a row. Actually, yeah. I should put another zero here. You're right. There we go. Okay. You're right. I just made the rule up. But I, I made it up to give you the concept that, that a box or a modem at the end of the line, based on some rules, can fix errors on its own. Okay? It can fill in the blank. All right. Let's say that we have something like blank, blank, blank. Could we fill in all those blanks? Or none of them, right? So it depends on how many errors we have, how much we can fix, and it depends on what our rules are. The rules are actually a lot more complicated than what I gave, and they can help fix a lot more because they're a lot more complicated, a lot more in-depth. But the moral of the story is the same, and that is this, is that pre-BER is before forward air correction tries to apply its rules and fix problems. So it's the box and the modems is sitting there, it's looking at its bitstream, and if something's missing, it says air. I see an air. But it doesn't just say air, it says pre-air, because I've not tried to fill in the blank yet. I've not tried to apply my rule. Now, after I apply my rule, I thought somebody would get it out to here. Uh, after I try to apply my rule, um, then I can then look at how many errors I fixed. In, this, in my first example, I fixed some errors. In my second, I didn't. Generally, that's what will happen with a modem in a box. It'll fix probably about half of the errors or somewhere. It probably depends on actually how many errors there are. If there's a whole bunch of pre-errors, it won't be able to fix very much. If there's not very many pre-errors, it'll probably be able to fix them all. Usually that equates to about half. All right, so, so that's pre and post PER. And on your meter, you will see pre, I think we call it pre-FEC, BER and pre-post-FEC BER. Remember this rule, I'm 